All right, it's your boy June 5th, June Money, and I'm back at y'all in my city. I'm in Newark, New Jersey with another interview, you heard? All right, boom, so we're going to get down to it. Do you do drugs, my man? Of course. All right, all right. True or false, are you a fiend? No. You're not a fiend, okay, but you do drugs. That's not the same thing? No, sir. All right, what's the difference? Tell me the difference between that. The difference is a fiend will do anything and everything to get what they need. Okay. And the addict will go out there and hustle or make an earning living to make that money. To get that money. Now, I feel you on that, bro. I mean, I agree with you word. All right, so um, to get high, how much of a drug do you need to get high? To, so you can feel your whole high. It all depends on the person, to be honest. Now, I'm saying, what about you? Like, like what, how many... Like, my man's, he he need, like, two perks in the morning type shit just so he could get high. Like, how, how much of, you don't got to say what drug, but I would prefer for you to say what drug, but I'm saying just. Be honest, be like $10. Yeah. Like $10, like a dime type shit. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. All right. Um, all right. If you would prefer, like, if you, if you, if you only had a choice, like, would you rather buy drugs or would you rather buy soap? I want to have soap over drugs any day of the week. I want to smell good. Oh, all right, now nah, I feel you on that one. All right, um, all right, you could do me a favor right now, bro. I want you to make a rap song or sing full bars of, about a drug, about about any drug. If so, I could, I would, but I can't rap what the fuck or let them keep a beat in my own head. All right, all right I'm gonna do it with you. All right. So I'm going to say a word. You just going to rhyme it. We're going to do it like two times. Cool? Cool. All right. Listen. 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 We on the Ave. Shorty look trash. I get the bag. Pass it along with the bags. Pass it along with the bag. I don't never sniff fat and all. I smoke weed. I smoke weed, I smoke weed, I do hella weed, speed, this nigga lying, no I'm not, alright, alright, cool, thank you my boy, no on, on, the, on, on the scale of 1 to 10, on drugs, rate yourself. I have to say a 10, but it's okay because we all be there and we all going to come down. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we got the help that we need. All we got to do is to proceed that trail. Ooh, I'm way I, 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 okay, no, I feel you, I feel you. All right, cool, cool. All right, do you believe in aliens, bro? I don't know, maybe so. We just have to look up in the sky and see that UFO. What the fuck do you think? Shit, sometimes I think we aliens, bro. Cause like Maybe. we we got the we got the information that they say that aliens had we like we doing all of that so you never know we I mean we, like if you think about it animals and shit they don't got the brain power we got right they can't make a car and stuff like that so we got some type of dominance over animals right so we might be the aliens bro all right uh do you believe in gun laws like do you think the regular everyday citizens should have guns? Or no, nah, and why? Yes, because we all should all be able to protect all our loved ones at home. Mm -hmm. Because our loved ones mean everything, especially our children. Our children are going to be our new our generation for the future. So if we can't have a gun to protect our own family, then what's the sense of not having a gun law? I think it's kind of fucked up what they're doing to us. Because look at look at all of our ancestors that I fought for our freedom and for our country. Yeah. They're trying to take what we what I fought for, our freedom. They're trying to take our guns from us to protect our own family. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this government that died? Yeah, I right. tell you this much, they need to go fuck themselves. Yeah. Stop trying to take something that we've bought so they asked for and start helping us and do what they need to do. Yeah. This shit's fucked up nowadays. Nah, I dude. remember when I was growing up, I was home comfortable, living yeah. good. Yeah. Until the day I heard they're going to come to everybody's house try to take their guns. Who the fuck you think you are? Yeah, that's messed. You taking people like defense right there. That, that's our home defense, bro. Nah, I respect that. I respect that.
No, I agree with you totally. I definitely think the regular everyday person should have a gun, bro. And, and the crazy part is, guns yeah. don't kill people. People, people kill, kill people. people. Yeah, it's the person with the gun. Exactly. Yeah, because it's a lot of times you see people be like, you know what, put this gun right, hold my gun, yo. Well, let's fight. You see what I'm saying? But that's not the stuff that they promote. They rather promote gun violence, you feel me? You know me? what the crazy part is? If they drop the fucking guns down and start bringing up their fists and get that ass whooped, yeah. then things will be better. But yeah. no, as soon as you get your ass whooped, you just want to go home and get your gun. Yeah. No, no, yeah, that, That's no. how it is. Winners will fight with their fists. Yeah. Only a loser will go home and get that gun all because you lost a fight. Yeah, that I mean, that's society now, though. Like, you know, that's the kids, how they was raised. But when we was growing up, it was like more fist fights. You know, the most you might get is jump. I might go home and get my brothers and shit. We might jump you or something. But it wasn't always shooting all the time. Everybody now, they just resort to, you know. What is up with that nowadays? I yeah. mean, like, when I was growing up, let me tell you what. I grew up with a bunch of people, right? We all had guns and stuff, but you know what? It ain't nothing like going in that backyard and putting on some gloves and being up one another. Yeah. That is the true proper way of handling agreement or disagreement. Or disagreement, yeah. I because get what you're win or lose, you and that person are gonna sit down together and still roll up a blunt and yeah. smoke and drink a beer. Y'all yeah, still alive. Exactly. I still get but yet, day. as soon as soon as you shoot that person, you can't take that back. You and here you are going to prison for the rest of your life. Y'all both lose your life. Yeah, <laughs> it's not it's not worth it these days no more. Like, nah. what's the sense with these guns? Yeah, it's a lose lose situation. I get what you're saying. I, I, I totally agree. I and, totally agree. And I'm tired of every time I look around, especially on social media. Yeah. People are killing people over some bullshit, and I'm tired of it. Yeah, and they glorifying it too. They rapping about it, making money off of it. And, and it's not and it's not fair to us because our kids yeah, the is kid. go, growing up into this fucked up situation. Nah, nah, for sure, for sure. And and these officers right here is is, 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 is doing everything in their power to protect us, yeah. especially our children. Yeah, it's, it, that's what it's about. The kids growing up. Let the kids grow up. Let, yeah, Let the kids be kids. My kids want to have a beautiful future. Yeah. I'd be damned to see something happen to my kids. Yeah, I'll lose my life for my son. I, Me nah, too. Yeah, I feel you on that. I feel you on that, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Um, Do you have any talent? Of course, I'm jack of all trades. A jack of all trades, all right. So, like, give me an example of one of your talents. Like, uh, it could be a sport, it could be... Whatever. I'm, I do a uh, mechanical. I do uh, uh -huh. carpentry. Okay. I do audio systems. Okay. I can paint. I can do landscaping. Okay, okay. I've been in the city for going on almost two years, and nobody yeah. hasn't had a chance to give me the chance to show what I'm about. Yeah. But I know my time is coming soon, and I cannot wait when it happens. No, nah, no. Nah, God bless you, man. I mean, Thank that's you. that sounds like a good story right there. Um. All right. Uh, did drugs ever impact your relationships? That could be with your family or a girl or whatever. But any type of relationship that could be even your brother or if you got kids, did it ever impact your kids? Like, yeah, yeah. And, and well, especially with my family. Okay. Because it's like it didn't. Uh, I didn't choose the light. The light chose me. Yeah. And the fucked up part is, no matter what I did, no matter how hard I tried, it still was never good enough, yeah. you know? And, and, and it's like, ever since my mom passed away, it's like, things hasn't been the same. But it's okay, because you know why? Yeah. It shows me that you never needed me in the beginning with, and, and like, I don't need you because... If you love somebody, you should love them unconditionally. Unconditional. And should be there by their side no matter what the situation may yeah, be. Yeah, no matter what they're going through. You know how many people out here are fighting an addiction and yet yeah. they still got their loved ones by them? Yeah, that's a fact. That's that a fact. That shows you what type of people that they are. Yeah. But yeah, when you got other people saying, oh yeah, we love them. Yeah, what kind of love? Love them from a distance? That's yeah. not, that, that right there is, is, is no good because... Most people need support. Yeah, that's true. And if you don't got that proper support, guess mm -hmm. what? They're going to be fucked up in their head. Like, damn, like, why did my family do that? After I came to them and telling them, hey, look, I, I need I need some help. I need, need you guys to support. And yeah, yeah you're going to slam the fucking door in my sure. face. When I make it one day, bro, I'm going to definitely support you, bro. 
for sure, because you support me right now, bro. It's not so. about the drugs. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not, it's not it's, even about that. No. Nope. Anymore nowadays. Uh, mm-hmm. Support is supposed to be support no matter what the situation may be. Yeah. But what happened is, is people forgot what support is. Yeah. It's called that love unconditionally. Yeah. That's nah. what it is. For That's sure. what people fucking fuck up at. Like. Yeah. Loving somebody from a distance, all mm-hmm. you're doing is, 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 is not showing them love. That's nah, you're putting a barrier be- between y'all. Know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel you. Um, fucked up these days. Did, did, you ever, did you ever fuck any bitches off drugs? Or not? Nah, like, when you start doing drugs, you stop fucking the bitches? No, this shit got better. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right, all right, tell me more. Tell me more. So, like, all right. So, basically, because... Because they probably doing it too, or not even nah, girls that like, do it. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's hard to explain, but let me tell you what. If you have done drugs in the past, and you already know what I'm talking about. Yeah, nah, I know what you're I met about. women that done stuff too. I met. Yeah, let me tell you what, man. It's, it's old, like Viagra. Yes. I, I know what you're but trying to say. 10 times plus. B- better. All right, trails, trails, nah, trails. That's basically what I was asking. Uh, uh, yeah, well, that was the last question I got. Y- y'all want to ask him anything else, or that's, you think we good, bro? I got one thing to say. It's yeah, a privilege and an honor that you guys stop out of the blue to yeah. me. I want to say thank you. Nah, no problem, Very bro. Very much, you know? Yeah, nah, nah. Hopefully this interview take off, bro, and when it do... Um, you know, I'm going to always come through, show you love. And when I make some more money off of this, you know, I'm going to try to change everybody in Newark life. So I'm going to be around, bro, and well, I'm going to definitely check in with you. If you need another you. support team, let me yeah. know, and I have no problem helping you guys out. I yeah. know a couple of people might want to do some interviews, too. Who knows? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. nah, I'm going to definitely keep in contact with you. you be in the area, right? Of course. Yeah, you're going to see me all the time, bro. I'm, I'm going to check in with you. Dominoes. How hard yeah. could that be to find you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm from the area. Like I'm from North, too, bro. So everything you said, I and already... And if you need a mechanic, let yeah. me know. Yeah, I'll be needing a mechanic for sure, for sure. Of course. All right, well, thank you. Yeah, it's your boy, June 5th, thank June you. Money. And, um, yeah, we out of here. All right. You get the light on? Yeah, it's yeah. on. The light on. Got the cameraman right there. Or you got yeah, the, that, uh, that's for the thumbnail. And okay. it's, like, behind the scenes. Like, you know? All right. Um, all right. You could do me a favor right now, bro. I want you to make a rap song or sing full bars of, about a drug, about about any drug.